Yeah. Oh. And they're off and racing. They jump away for the Choose Fitness Handicap. Save the Bees is out uh, really well here and will bring the field through the first furlong or so. And it settles down with uh, coming through along the inside car, Nagio, another one who is well to the fore, Navajo War Dance, up towards the outside and also Hale Clodius over towards the inner as they race through the first couple of furlongs. Uh, they're being followed through uh, along the rails by Archipos, who's just in behind 4C, who's parked out a little wider on the track as they continue this left-handed run all the way back towards us. Palmerston is racing in midfield at this stage, being chased through by Briardale, Tamoya's Magic, Marmion is over to the the inside atop of the glass and then chases uh, Chancery. Sikandar over to the inside of another go and then well back in the field, Hanseatic Bronorotti and uh, Suta. So galloping on, left-handed, all the way back inside their final three quarters of a mile now. There would be a good 15 lengths first to last. And up ahead, it is Save the Bees, who broke so well, leading by half a length. To the outside is the Grey Hail Clodius, a close-up second. Two and a bit lengths away to in third at Mysterial as they swing the final corner for home. Navajo War Dance in the orange cap along the inside is next, just ahead of 4C. A couple of lengths back then to find at Lime and Lemon with the spots on the jacket. Palmerston coming wider. Still travelling all right is Archipos. Then over to the far side is Navajo War Dance. Away to the extreme right is a pushed along Sikandar. Hanseatic is travelling well, just in behind that one, beginning to get going as they now race inside the final three furlongs. Hail Clodius to the near side of the now driven Save the Bees. Navajo War Dance over on the far side. Red and white colours out wider is the favourite. Favorite Carnaggio, who's now in full swing. Hanseatic over to the far side. Down the wide outside, Lime and Lemon, but it is Hale Clodius to Navajo War Dance, also bursting through Archipos Fairway back. Carnaggio is out a bit wider, also picking up in behind those. Briardale, Hanseatic over to the far side. They're now deep inside the final furlong at Archipos, and Paddy Aspel comes through to take it up by three parts of a length to Hale Clodius in second, but Archipos proves too strong and wins to Hale Clodius in second. Very close for third, Navajo War Dance, Chancery in between horses. Hell Claudius is in and they're ready to race. They're off. Away they go. Extended mile here. The TPA going the extra furlong handicap is underway. Dream of Summer, an established pace setter going on. A decent start made too by Powderhorn and pulling quite hard on the inside there is Cordite in the white armlets. They're followed then by Hell Claudius. Then comes Bastille Day. Then the Salmon Man in the green jacket. And at the back of the field is Forceful Appeal as the runners continue across the top of the track here. They're racing towards the six furlong marker and it's a decent gallop being set as well by Dream of Summer and Martin Lane. Powderhorn racing in second and then on the inside then comes uh, Cordite followed then by the great Hell Claudius. And the Bastille Day, the white-faced chestnut is behind him lobbing along in fifth place for Daryl Holland. The Salmon Man in the green for Jim Crowley, seeking a hat-trick here this evening as they race on down the hill. And Forceful Appeal, a ten-time win on the all-weather, still yet to win on the turf. It brings up the rear about seven or eight lengths off the pace. They've descended Tattenham Corner now. They're racing down the home straight, approaching the final three furlongs. Dream of Summer still out in front. Powderhorn on the outside now shaken up. On the inside there with a chance is Cordite. Hell Claudius, the... Light blue jacket on the outside is getting closer all the time. So too Bastille Day and quite stylishly on the outside too. He's quickening up pretty well. Looking for room behind them is the Salmon Man, but he's stuck in a bit of a pocket there as they race up inside the final furlong and a half. And on the wide outside, Bastille Day tries to wear down Hale Claudius. The Salmon Man has found the gap. Can he get up? They're racing well inside the final half furlong. On the near side, Bastille Day. On the far side, the Salmon Man. Bastille Day's beaten the Salmon Man. Back in third was Hell Claudius, then in fourth came, running on behind these was Cordite, and then the pace setting Dream of Summer was fifth. The Franco secret is just oh, Bastille it's Day. Makes... Red Casino handicap. And they're off, and they came out in a very good line. Cloud seven restrained, so too Frank as secret in the early stride. Going forward is Harry Holland up the inside of Exalted, and then Aberique in third in the Shake Hamdan jacket, wide of Hail Clodius in light blue. Major Crispies is slightly over racing in fifth place, followed then by Freddie with a Y. Quality song on the outside. Followed by Air of York, the inside in the stripes from Telegram, then Cloud Seven, St. Patrick's Day, and Franco's secret is held 
up in last place by Daryl Holland as they race towards the end of the back straight. Pace looks fairly generous with Exalted on the outside of Harry Holland in the red and yellow jacket. Then Hail Clodius from Aberica Major Crispies and then behind these Freddie with a Y. Uh, caught out wide into the bend there is Quality Song in the green jacket wider out of Air of York and racing between them Telegram. Then St. Patrick's Day. Terracotta jacketed uh, Cloud 7 is third last just in front of St. Patrick's Day and Franco Secret will bid to pass every single rival in the home straight. Inside the three, Harry Holland and Exalted. Far side, Hale Clodius. Then Aberic and after these major crispies, Air of York and Freddie with a Y and then behind them Cloud 7, Telegram, Quality Song, Franco Secret beginning a run down the outside still with plenty to do as Hale Clodius took over from Exalted and then Aberic entering the final furlong. Aberic spurting now out wide of Hale Clodius. Cloud 7 with a run, so too Major Crispies. They're well inside the final furlong. Aberic, Hale Clodius and Cloud 7, three in a line. Aberic doing best. Aberic, Paul Hannigan for a double. Tight second, Hale Clodius and Cloud 7. And then came Major hey, Crispies. And the horse, the orange silks there in mid deer. And Just the they're off for the Betfred.com handicap stakes at 10 furlongs on the turf course. In the early strides here, it's Zand who's come through to the inside to have a prominent role along with Dutch Uncle out wider and the grey Hail Clodius. They move on from Firestorm and Winter House in the Royal Blue. A couple back to Passover in the black and gold silks and in the orange colours at the back, Slowfoot is last of all. But over on the back straight then, it's Dutch Uncle and Sylvester de Souza you now claim the lead from Zand in second place, a spotted jacket. And to the outside, Hale Clodius is going up in trip today. Further two lengths back to Firestorm and then Winter House on seasonal and handicap debut. Ahead of Passover and then Slowfoot down to the inside of him as they turn right over on the far side. Dutch Uncle with the lead from Hale Clodius there to the outside of Zand. They're second and third. Good couple of lengths away then to Firestorm, the grey and pink. As they head towards the final five furlongs, Slowfoot racing down to the inside of Winter House, and between rivals is Passover as they head towards the top of the hill. It's Dutch Uncle who leads the way. Length and a half ahead of Hale Clodius in second, Zan towards the inside in third. Firestorm in fourth, another length away to Winter House towards the outside, then Passover. And Slowfoot at the rear of the field as they start the journey back towards home. Dutch Uncle with the lead. A good two and a half lengths ahead of Hale Clodius in second. Zand will straighten up in third. Fourth place on the bend in Firestorm. They're pretty well strung out here. Pass over is third from the back. Then Winterhouse is not picking up at the moment. And Slowfoot's last down towards the final quarter mile. And dictating here. Dutch Uncle is clear by nearly four lengths from Hale Clodius in second. Zand in third. Winterhouse now starting to roll home but leaving it very late as Dutch Uncle now begins to need the line. Hell Clodius is trying to get back to him. And then Zand and Winterhouse down the outside inside the final furlong. Dutch Uncle finding more with the rail to help. He's still ahead by three lengths. Winterhouse is staying on well down the outside with Hell Clodius on his inner. But it's Dutch Uncle who won it. Dutch Uncle beat the running on Winterhouse. Back in third, Hell Clodius. Zand in fourth, then Passover and Firestorm and Slowfoot has all but pulled up. Horse who runs this track well, won here last year in a, a, a less a legged up on the track, if not on the track, then, then just before. There's he's lit down and mm. uh, ready to go. And they're off racing for this Thames Ditton handicap over a mile and breaking out well towards the outside was Bernie's boy of Cordite and they're followed by Hale Clodius in a light blue jacket, the Warrior, Ice Royal and slightly detached in the early stages, Jack of Diamonds. Pace looks quite honest with Bernie's boy now asserting over Cordite as they run towards the exit from the back straight. Hale Clodius is third followed then by the Warrior and Ice Royal and finally Jack of Diamonds. So heading towards this bend now, Bernie's boy and Oshin Murphy in the green and red jacket from Hale Clodius, Sean Levy in light blue colours, the Midland Park colours and they're followed by Cordite back on the inside as they swing the right hander. Behind them then is the Warrior in blue and yellow, a couple of lengths or so to Ice Royal and still at the back of the pack is Jack of Diamonds. So three and a half furlongs to cover, uphill pretty much all the way in the home straight here at Sandown. Bernie's 
boy from Hale Clodius, separated by about a half length, passing the three furlong marker. Cordite's on the inside of the Warrior, followed by Ice Royal, and then Jack of Diamonds at the rear of the field. Now Bernie's boy is rousted along by Murphy. Hale Clodius trying to go with the leader. Then in behind them, Cordite, the Warrior still has a chance. Out wide, Ice Royal is picking up. Jack of Diamonds with much to do. It's still Bernie's boy holding all comers, but on the outside, Ice Royal laying down a big challenge now. Hale Clodius battling on between them and Ice Royal has come through to challenge. Hale Clodius is rallying, then Bernie's boy racing for the line. Ice Royal just doing best. Ice Royal beats Hale Clodius. Bernie's boy third, the warrior.